Okay. Site selection, you want to think about somewhere that's convenient. So I'd use a shady spot if it's available because direct sunlight will dry out your bin. And then, uh, you know, you want to make sure there's good drainage. If you put in a low-lying area uh, that floods a lot, then your bin's going to get soggy. I like to use the lasagna method. So make a layer of leaves or shredded paper or brown high-carbon stuff, a layer of food scraps, which is all of our wet green stuff, and just keep making layers like that. And that helps it ensure that you get a good mix of materials that will break down effectively. So in a typical backyard environment, it's going to take probably 6 or 12 months for things to break down because uh, we don't reach a lot of high temperatures, which is fine. It's just going to be a longer timeline. Things you can do to speed that up or help make better compost would be, number one, to uh, flip or turn it using a pitchfork or a shovel. And then also you can think about moisture. If it's not clumping, you want to add water. If you're squeezing with your hand and lots of water is dripping out, then it's too wet. You want to add leaves or sticks or shredded paper to help dry it out. And that'll help you achieve faster composting. If it looks earthy and brown and doesn't smell um, poorly, then it's probably ready to go. And things we can do with it is, you know, I like to just mix it in with my existing soil, the top three to six inches of my garden. You can also spread it on your grass, uh, a quarter inch or half an inch thick on, on turf grass with some grass seed. It'll do wonders to, to you know, lead to a better lawn. Um, you can also use it when you plant or repot plants. So if you mix in compost with a potting mix and a 50-50 blend, that'll help your indoor plants do a heck of a lot better.